the, the Roundup enters the, the uh, soil either by direct uh, application to the soil or through the roots of the, of the plant. And it tends to select certain organisms that have a tendency to degrade that compound as a food source, uh, some, some fungi and some bacteria that um, curiously also happen to be potential pathogens of plant. Um, the other, you know, other factors that the glyphosate does, it will, um, it will tie up or immobilize some uh, nutrients, especially micronutrients that these organisms need as well as the plant does because the uh, enzyme systems that are used in many metabolic pathways require these nutrients as cofactors in order for them to complete their process and if uh, glyphosate takes that away, then they're not able to uh, uh, conduct those processes. And, and so finally, um, glyphosate has, may also just be an antibiotic, as was mentioned, um, that it, it is just completely toxic to some organisms, and, and we've seen this uh, especially, unfortunately, is toxic to some of the more beneficial bacteria that are useful in producing uh, plant protecting compounds, plant stimulating or regulating compounds that, that are very similar to uh, hormones. Well, especially in, in a system where we have, um, depending on nutrient cycling in the soil, which, which are mediated by, by microorganisms, um, this could be disrupted. And when that happens, some of the nutrients that are necessary for the plant are not available or they are not released through microbial action. And so when that happens, the plant is not able to take up enough of the, of the nutrients to not only sustain plant growth, but to store into the, the harvestable portion of the, of the crop, such as grain or fruits. And that's going to e eventually um, deplete the nutrient quality or the nutrient density of, of, of these crops that are used for, uh, for, for human uh, nutrition.